my guest has learned how to worship God from heaven. And when he worships God, heaven invades earth. And he's going to teach you step by step how you can supernaturally worship God. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, Rennie McLean, has learned, he's been taught from heaven how to operate outside of time. You see, here on earth, we have time. In heaven, in eternity, there is no time. Somehow, if heaven can come to earth, we can be in a time-free zone, mm -hmm. and that's where the miracles are released. Mm -hmm. Now, this is Passover week, and it's also Resurrection Sunday week. And it's actually the season. Some of you are listening to this a little later, some a little earlier. But it is a season that the Bible refers to as a portal or a door or a window to heaven. There are set times according to Leviticus 23. Mm -hmm. Passover is one of the set times in which you have a clear portal to heaven. Yes. Rennie, is this what you found out? I found this out some time ago, Sid, and it's becoming even a more clear revelation to me. And I feel for the sake of the viewer, just to go into it a little bit more, um, a portal is a gate, a door, a window. And some of the greatest things in the Bible God ever did, portals were open. And there are times when God has done things sovereignly that if you notice, not even your faith can bring that manifestation back because it was a portal that opened. Let me give you instances of portals because I really, it's going to, I could walk through the Please. entire Bible where you see portals. For, exa for example, when God made man and placed him in the garden. Now we have an idea of the region where it was. We, you know, we do know right, that. Right, of course. But we still haven't found it. And probably the reason why we won't find it is because Eden was a portal. See when Adam, see when, see when Adam sinned, and he was removed. If you notice, an angel was put outside to guard it. Yes. So we understand there was a portal. Enoch had an experience. The Bible says Enoch walked and was not. Portal. Um, when the children of Israel um, got their deliverance to, you know, get out of slavery. What's so prophetic about it is, you know, we look at the story of the Exodus and we see the supernaturals of God and miracles of God. But if you look at it, you'll actually see it was actually a portal. Because first of all, the door, you know, the blood was put on the doorpost. We understand all of that. But if you notice, when the Red Sea opened, it was around that time frame. So the opening of the Red Sea was the manifestation of a portal being opened. So that would make sense why they had a window of time to pack and get out. And so at times the church has done things by faith, and we must, and we must understand this, God is not necessarily bound to a time. He can do things at any time, but there are set times in God. Like, let me give an example now. And, and by the way, when he said set time, yeah. that's what it says in Leviticus 23, so, a yeah. set time. Time. appointment. Yes. So we're living in the time that God says you can have an appointment with him. Yes. <laughs> that's that's yes. literally yes. what he's oh, saying. That's, what's, that's actually what God is saying. And, and I tell you why this, this hits me so strong, Sid, because this, this is total revelation. The Lord gave it to me in a, real, in a real simple way. He said to me, Rennie, do you notice your birthday changes? Now, my birthday is September the 24th. My birth date September 24th is sovereign. It will never change as long as I'm on the earth. So my birth date doesn't change, right. but my birth day does. 
You got to explain that a little bit well, more. Well, as long as I live, my birthday is not going to be a Friday for the rest of the oh, day I I'm see. living. Oh, I see. I get it. So okay. Like, and so at times we've missed the timings of God. Hmm. And the greatest thing God has ever done is around that time when portals are open. It's a time of miracles. It's a time of signs, wonders, and miracles. It's what I love about it is it, you don't even have, and this can be misunderstood. This isn't even so much a time of your faith working. It's where God says, this is my time with the earth. And it's not the amount of faith you've got that makes it happen. It's the fact that God says, this is my time. Tell and so, me something that you believe is mm -hmm. going to happen mm -hmm. to you or anyone that has that same faith at mm -hmm. this time, at this mm -hmm. set appointment. I believe the set timings of God dictate to the rest of your year. I totally believe that. I, I, I totally, I can walk you through the entire Bible where you see that pattern. For example, I, and just quickly start from Tabernacles up. Tabernacles represents the harvest, the final harvest. It really represents the glory of God. Well, you know, prior to that, you have Rosh Hashanah, you have Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah, we have the days of all. Now, you know as well as I do, during that time, Jews look at it, it's a very holy time because how you end your year determines how your next year is going to be. And so in other words, you declare the end from the beginning every time a portal is open. So I am seeing things in my life now that I can trace to a seed in a time of a portal opening that I'm seeing dividends on to this very day. Well, you teach about Malachi at this yes. season. Yes. Well, I'll tell you the reason why I teach it, because if you read about Malachi, this is, God said, I feel the power of God on this. If you look at Malachi, Malachi 2 and Malachi 3, what we've not tied it to is a portal. Because the Bible says, I'll open the windows. Hmm. Windows. That's windows. a portal. There of you go. And so now there's a set time where God requires a different kind of a seed. And it's during that time when that portal opens. Now, let me give you a for instance of that. If you read Malachi 3, God says something very strong to the children of Israel. He gives them a rebuke. And we also know he's speaking to the church too right. prophetically. He gives them a rebuke and he calls them, you sons of Jacob. Now, I'll tell you what blew my spirit of heart, Sid. That's why it really hits my spirit. You know as well as I do, Jacob was his, Jacob was his old name. Right. It was testifying to his old nature. So in other words, they had backslidden. Hmm. So he ch that's why he used that word he, there. Yeah, I yeah, they, oh, ooh, sorry, I felt that because I feel like I'm <laughs> preaching. And so they, they had missed that moment in God. They'd missed that time frame. But I understood this and it never hit me this wrong. If you ask your viewers right now, those people who go to church and are faithful to God, you know what you're going to find out? Every one of them will say, Brother Ronnie, I give. They'll say, we give our tithes and offerings. And we've seen the blessing of the Lord but the kind of blessing that the Bible speaks about where you will not have room to receive it. Brother Sid, let's ask our viewers right now. You got any room left? I think, I think uh, everybody's hand's going to go up. Uh, you know, you may be wondering uh, why Rennie knows so much about the feast. That's because he has a nice Jewish mother and he has a Jamaican father. Scary. And I want to find out how his nice Jewish mother became a believer in Jesus. Right. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Awesome. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. During a time of intense prayer and fasting, Rennie McLean found himself translated into heaven, where God downloaded the way where we can enter into the eternal zone, where time is no longer a hindrance, where the supernatural is commonplace, where miracles are part of our everyday experience. Call now and receive both Rennie McLean's revolutionary book, Eternity Invading Time, and his anointed audio CD teaching, Open Windows to Heaven. Yours for a donation of $25. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9090. Through this book, you will learn how to move beyond the constraints of time by accessing the glory zone. Enter into the timeless zone where you can speak to matter and it must obey. Access supernatural faith that has no boundaries of time or space. Operate in the realm of the miraculous and so much more. If you want to be prepared to move in the supernatural in the days ahead, in the book Eternity Invading Time is revelatory keys and prophetic insight that will open you and expose you to the realm 
of the supernatural. Through this anointed audio CD teaching, Open Windows to Heaven, Rennie McLean reveals how the seven biblical feasts are open portals into realms of heaven, which will allow you to experience supernatural favor and provision from God. Don't miss out on getting both Rennie McLean's revolutionary book, Eternity Invading Time, and his anointed audio CD teaching, Open Windows to Heaven. Yours for a donation of $25. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9090. Call or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9090 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Rennie McLean. And Rennie. Yes, sir. Uh, Having a nice Jewish mother <laughs> uh, and a Jamaican father, right. when you got sick, did yes. your mother give you Jewish penicillin, chicken <laughs> matzo ball soup? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Uh, how did she become a believer? Seriously, my mother, my mother was, con my mother, you know, she had an encounter with the Lord long before I was born. She had an encounter with the Lord. She saw the Lord. She saw the Lord in a, in a vision. It was a vision she had of him. She saw the Lord. And then there was a young evangelist that came to the Caribbean islands. And his name is none other than Dr. T.L. Osborne. It was his first meeting he ever did in the Caribbean islands. And my mother knew some of the people that went to that meeting and got healed. So my mother Were first... Were a lot of people healed at that meeting? <sighs> My mother to this day rehearses the miracle she saw. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lady, if Brother Osborne's watching this, it would be good if he was watching this. There was a lady who got healed in that meeting. Her name was Vida McKenzie. She was brought to, this, to his meeting in a wheelbarrow. I think she was paralyzed and totally blind and her eyes were rolled back in her head. And T.L. Osborne was a young evangelist at the time and he jumped off the platform you know, spoke the word over her. Her eyes went back in her head and the woman virtually, the woman just came back. My mother saw that and hundreds of miracles. My mother, my mother could recant it. She had as no if it choice were but to become a believer. Yeah. And what, are, what did Jewish yeah. family yeah. think about this? Oh, well, it's interesting. They, they accepted that she had an experience. They knew it. it they, was, they knew it. Because, such a change. In oh, yeah, life. because it's changed. You know, when, when you read the Bible, and then all of a sudden you, you encounter the author of the book and you begin to experience the power of God. It's too late for anybody to come tell you that it's not real. And that's why I say to the rabbis, rabbis, it's too late. Yes, and the rabbis say to late. me, yes, it's too late. It's, it's too late. Now, too now late. Randy, when you were a young child, you yes. had your own experience with mm -hmm. God. A light came into your room. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. Well, I wasn't seeking the Lord, but um, I went to bed and this light came into my room. It, it, was, it was blinding, but yet you could see in it. It was a different realm, it was a different world. And then the light came in the form of the person in the man Christ Jesus. Hmm. The four walls of my bedroom fell out. When they fell out, I wasn't in my room. I know I wasn't in my room. I know I was in heaven, I know. And the Lord showed me my life. The Lord showed me places I would go. And the Lord said to me, you will bring the knowledge of my power and my glory to my people. For the time will come on the earth where there's going to be a revelation of the working of miracles because of the circumstances that will come on the earth. My people are going to have to know the revelation of my power. And the Lord said to me, to the nations you will go. When he said that, when he said that, he opened his hand out like this. And, a, and you know, the earth stood before him as a globe. I understand that expression. He has the whole world in right. his hand. I saw it. Just did this, and the earth just stood up. And all of a sudden, he said, you will go to the nations. And I saw the stars where I'm to, where I'm to go. And I've been to 83 nations now. I saw the stars of him and just go and hang over every nation. And the Lord said to me, you're to go and bring the revelation of my glory. That was how and, I was called in the that, commission. That's interesting because that's what you do. That's what I do. You done. bring the revelation of His glory, mm -hmm. but your teaching is so profound on the time on earth mm -hmm. versus eternity, mm -hmm. which you learned in heaven. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I have to read that over and over again mm -hmm. because it, it, it's just so rich. 
Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's literally heaven teaching through you. Yes. You recently went to heaven, and, uh, and, and that's where you got more revelation. Tell me about yes, that. Yes, I had a recent experience when I was in Las Vegas uh, just, just uh, before Christmas, and I was praying to the Lord concerning a meeting. And um, while I was praying, I came to a point where I was praying, I just couldn't say no more. And in a split second, I wasn't in my body. Okay. And I was outside of my body looking down at it. But I was in prayer still. I saw my body in a position of prayer, but yet I wasn't in it. Where were you? I was in heaven, and I stood up, and I was in the... I was in the library of heaven. There was an imperialistic look to this room. It, it was incredible. It was an ancient room. And it had an, you know, it had an imperialistic look to it. And it was loaded with books. And the Lord said to me, I'm, I'm bringing you here to bring you some revelations of a time to come that's coming to the earth. But my people have need to know these things. And the Lord said to me, there are areas of the supernatural that the church has been fighting, that now, because of what's coming on the earth, they're going to be open to the supernatural in a way they have never been open before. And the, Lord, the room just stood there. And Gabriel came, Gabriel came in there, and he reached into one of the shelves and took out a book and opened the book. When he opened the book, all the words that was in that book came off of that book and came in me. And all of a sudden, I had a, I had, I can only but say to you this, I had a, about a hundred hours of revelation deposited in my spirit in what must have been one second. And I said, Lord, how, why are you doing this now? I said, Lord, why are you giving this to me here now? Right. I said, you could have given anybody. And he said to me, Remy, my thoughts are not your thoughts. But he said to me, there are so certain thoughts I assigned only you to think. And I understand that we think in the spheres that we're called to. That's I why you think in the areas but of I eternity yes. in this period called time. Yes. And I believe that's the missing, that's element, the missing element for people to have the manifestation yes. of, of what they're praying for. Totally, totally. Uh, but you totally. said something else. that, that you, uh, you said the Lord said, I'm giving this to you because the times were coming in. Did, yes. Do you have an indication of what times were coming in? Well, we're living on the earth right now where everything is being shaken. Even physical laws are being shaken. If you look right now at the weather pattern, if you look on earth right now, everything right now is being shaken, literally, literally, it's being shaken. And I really and truly believe, now I must say this right now, I am pro-kingdom, but I understand prophecy. A lot of kingdom people don't believe in prophecy. You know that as well as I do. But a lot of prophetic people don't really fully understand the kingdom. And so I must say I'm pro-kingdom. But I understand the time frame in which we are in now. And it's God has upped the ante. And God saved the... I feel it even as I'm saying it. God has saved the best for last. And what you're going to find, Sid, is this. He's going to drop, as I'm, as I'm, as I'm speaking in the studio, I says, God is going to drop an unusual hunger in the spirit of his people where they will pursue his presence and power like never before. You're going to come to a place where all you want is God. If it ain't God, you don't want it. We've been artificially entertained. But the time has now come, Brother Sid, where the people of God are looking for the real thing. And I must say this, when the Lord began in that visitation, one of the things that the Lord put in my spirit was I'll this. I'll tell you what, hold that thought. We'll be yeah. right back after this word. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. For he himself is our peace, who has made both Jew and Gentile into one, and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall. His purpose was to create in himself, to create in himself. His purpose was to create one new man, one new man, one new man, Adin Novi Chalavik, the Adam Hadash Echad, one new man. We now return to. It's supernatural. 
Hello, Sid Roth here with Rennie McLean. And Rennie found himself in heaven, in the library, and he was given revelation about the end times. You were going to make a point when we uh, stopped the last segment. Yes, the point is, the time we have come to right now, the, the people on the earth have never seen this moment before. Because everything right now that can be broken loose, and I'm careful how I say this because I'm still, I, as I'm talking, I feel the spirit of that visitation, visitation on me. And we're living in a time now, Brother Sid, where there are things coming on the earth that have never been here before. They were assigned to this generation. And the Lord also said to me that there are angelic beings being released on the earth that were assigned to this point in time. There's more for us than what's actually against us. We're gonna, we've been warring against things in the spirit that some of us have never encountered before. That's because of the time frame that we're in right now. The battle is intensifying, but the glory of God is being revealed in the midst of us. Speaking so, of the glory of God, though, yeah, yeah. tell me mm -hmm. about the supernatural protection that's available to us in these horrific times we're living in, mm -hmm. that where things are released, yes. as you heard what he said, things mm -hmm. are being released that have never been released before yeah. uh, at, the, at this time, but things of God are being released, yes. I believe, yes, that have are. never been released yes, before. Yes, totally, totally. So tell me about the fish and chips. I'll give you a testimony. Some years ago, I was in London, England, and there was a chip shop I used to frequent. And um, I'll never forget one day, I went there, must have been about six o'clock in the evening. And um, there was some, some argument going on in the chip shop before I got there. And it was one of those Hollywood situations. You walked right into something, you didn't know what was happening. Mm -hmm. And so I walk into this chip shop and, the, and a fight breaks out. So you, went, you don't want to be there. <laughs> uh, you don't, you don't want to be there. And so I walk into the chip shop now and the fight breaks out and somehow they try to involve me in it and um, I'm not I you know I don't have that kind of fear I'm not frightened if I have to defend myself I will you know I will defend myself um, but um, for a strange reason brother Sid and I, and I say it I have to laugh to just looking back at how God does things and um, and so they try to pull me into the fight and just as they tried to pull me into a fight the man a man came through the door now, I want you to hear my terminology. A man came through the door. Now, I'm six foot two, and the man was considerably taller than me. Hmm. And he was, he was a good, he was a, you know, but I looked in his eyes, and I saw heaven in his eyes, and I knew it wasn't a man. And the man looked in my eyes, the man looked at me, looked at me like I'm looking at you, and he nodded his head, and he smiled at me. And... Everybody in the room, they, you know, they were doing what they were doing. And then all of a sudden he said, don't touch him. You know me. When he said that, the place froze for a split second. And for a split second when time, well, when time froze for a moment, we went back to the period of time before I was even on the road to get in the chip shop. And then all of a sudden he turned around and said to me, said to me, anytime you need me, I'll be there. And he walked through the door. And I was like this. What happened to the fight? It's, the, oh, it's, everybody froze. Huh. Everybody froze, that's what I'm trying to say. Everybody froze. And he went through the door and he just did this. He just, he just did this and vanished. And when I went back in the, when I went back in the shop, it went back to, normal. The difference is I didn't even realize that I was the person who was there before the angel came in and stopped it. It was as if they didn't even know who I was. We went, went back in time. Back, that's what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. He went backwards in time. Yeah. But yeah. you actually went into the timeless zone of mm -hmm. heaven yeah. and saw what's going to be happening. Yeah. Will what you described mm -hmm. be yes. happening more and more? We, we are going we are gonna to have more manifestations of what I would define as glory travel, 
supernatural protection because of the time frame that we're in. Th this there has are, just started happening to me where I'm in one place and I'm also in another place. Yes, 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 and yes, I know yes. it's happened to you yes. a lot. Oh, oh, yes, it has. Yes, it has. And those things are going to multiply because of the times that we're in. And so God's really preparing his people for this move of the Spirit. I believe it's a move that we haven't seen before, not on the level we've seen it. And so it behooves us to be open, to be very sensitive to it. One of the keys to the power of God is obedience. God doesn't use you beyond the level of your obedience. And it's not just obedience, it's instant obedience. Oh, oh it's spon you've, you've got to, you've got to it's, it's the law of response. You've got to respond to God. One of the things I teach in, the, in that book, Eternity Invading Time, is this. When the, Lord, when the Lord said to me when he wrote that book, you know, the Lord said to me when he, there'll be no expiration date on it. And I said, Lord, why? Because he said to me, that revelation will not expire. My people are going to need to know the glory in order to step into the power of God to retrieve miracles like we've never retrieved them before. So we're in a time right now where we, it's not a time to have fear. It's a time to have faith. God is up to something big. We're going to see diseases You know what, healed. Penny? God is up to something so big, big in your life. In your life, God is up to something so Real big. big. I know it. I know it. Amen. Amen. Awesome. During a time of intense prayer and fasting, Rennie McLean found himself translated into heaven, where God downloaded the way where we can enter into the eternal zone, where time is no longer a hindrance, where the supernatural is commonplace, where miracles are part of our everyday experience. Call now and receive both Rennie McLean's revolutionary book, Eternity Invading Time, and his anointed audio CD teaching, Open Windows to Heaven. Yours for a donation of $25. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9090. Through this book, you will learn how to move beyond the constraints of time by accessing the glory zone. Enter into the timeless zone where you can speak to matter and it must obey. Access supernatural faith that has no boundaries of time or space. Operate in the realm of the miraculous and so much more. If you want to be prepared to move in the supernatural in the days ahead, in the book Eternity Invading Time is revelatory keys and prophetic insight that will open you and expose you to the realm of the supernatural. Through this anointed audio CD teaching, Open Windows to Heaven, Rennie McLean reveals how the seven biblical feasts are open portals into realms of heaven, which will allow you to experience supernatural favor and provision from God. Don't miss out on getting both Rennie McLean's revolutionary book, Eternity Invading Time, and his anointed audio CD teaching, Open Windows to Heaven. Yours for a donation of $25. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9090. Call or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9090 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. She was buried alive in a mass grave with her entire murdered family. How could she forgive? Find out about the most powerful prayer on earth.